Hey there. Hello. Hello. Hey, no worries. everyone right great Morning, everyone. Run. Do you want to go over the agenda today, or do you want me to go over it? Thank you, Murita. All right, I'm sharing the agenda. Ron, you're talking, but you're muted, bro. Man, you use that AI, man. Read those lips. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was confused with the the future meeting there of July. I was uh Yeah, there's uh that's the next one. Should we do uh, quick intros? Uh, real quick. Yes. I think we have some new folks. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm Ricardo. Uh, been uh, working with the working group uh, <laughs> for maybe six to six months already. I'm a co-chair for Tag Rod Time. I've been a co-chair for over three or four years. Um, so I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so I think um, a lot of folks already kind of know who I am, but uh, yeah. Happy to sync up uh, afterwards if you have any questions. So, Ron? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. We'll, we'll point. We'll guilt each other. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I'm Ron here in my beautiful hotel room. Uh, a volunteer here. Um, and, uh, yeah, same same thing. If you have any questions on what's, what's going on, uh, happy to to help get you involved and um, find the resources that uh, you might be looking for. So, welcome to anyone who is who is new. Uh, Boris, go. Sure. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Boris. I 
What do I do? Uh, I think generally make uh, Ron and Ricardo's uh, suggestion exception life uh, hard by editing all our content a lot. And hopefully now that we move the meeting, can actually participate in the proper meetings. True. Awesome. It's good. Awesome. Good. 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 I mean, hey, uh, um, I'm in here. I joined the work group uh, also from the beginning. Uh, try to be regular as possible. We also run this uh, cloud native AI project working group um, project um, meetings. Uh, we currently have a number of interesting things how to use in large language models to help CNCF and the ecosystem. Um, trying to get some momentum as there as well. Uh, so the meeting was on two Thursday, uh, on the same same week as the working group meeting, but on Thursday. All right, thank you. All right, next, uh, uh, Nipendra, I'm, I'm, I'm going by order. Yeah, here. Sure. yeah no problem. Hi, hi, everyone. Thank you uh, for, for, for taking the time because it's very suitable for us. Uh, and I'll be regular uh, for sure uh, in the coming weeks and coming months. Uh, my name is Nipendra. I am founder of Cloudiga. We train uh, people on continuous Kubernetes and currently building a course on Gen AI. Thank you. Awesome. Welcome. Uh, Sudhanshu? Hi. Hi, all. Uh, uh, I am developer advocate at Impact Cloud. So, this is my first meeting, even in the whole free NCF space. So, I'm looking forward to also learn how to contribute. And I have a lot of things on mind, which I think I can contribute. I have already tagged in the agenda. So meantime, I'm drinking around Ray serve and how to get model serving on Ray and all. So I'm thinking there are a lot of opportunities. And I see there are a lot of topics which I can contribute to. So I'm happy to stay here and be regular as much as possible. Yeah. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah. Glad to have you. Uh, yeah. Love to hear more about your um, yeah, efforts with Ray and uh, uh, figuring out how to serve. And I, I think Ray is also used for training, but but yeah, great. Uh, uh, next, we have a uh, Bang Key. I hope I'm pronouncing your name. Uh, yeah, that's right. cool. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Bang Key, and uh, this is my third uh, meeting. And uh, now I'm working in uh, Microsoft uh, AKS. So uh, uh, and then uh, in title, so I think that the 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 one agenda uh, I will do the uh, uh, presentation and then like uh, I'm trying to contribute to 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 the to the whole whole CNCF and whole environment. Uh, I'm working in like uh like Kubernetes for AI now. So uh, thanks. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, uh, Sri. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Sri. Um, I work at Intuit on the platform team. Uh, so I was super interested in uh, learning about how, how the working group works, and this is my first meeting. So I would be more than happy to contribute. And I actually work as a product manager at Intuit on the platform team. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You go ahead and put your company names in there and, and any other interests you all have so we get to know you better. That's a good point. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Ricardo, for starting it. Yep. Uh, Adil? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Adil Zaluk. Uh, my day job is a product manager at Red Hat, uh, but I'm also helping trying to make this group a better place. Um, so again, if you have questions or uh, contributions you want to make, please reach out and I'm going to try and help. Yep, I know who you are. <laughs> um, Malini? Uh, hi, everybody. I'm from Intel. My name is Malini Bandaru, and I'm also the uh, chair at the OPIA project. It's Open Platform for Enterprise AI, and my normal day job is a cloud architect here at Intel, open source. Great. Great to uh, have you lead that effort, OPEA. And uh, thank you, Ricardo, for your uh, question on the, I mean, the issue, how to use it. And I hope you got a chance to look at it. And the docs are improving. Yeah, yeah, little by little. Uh, Vijay? 
Hi everyone, uh, I'm Vijay Rodrix. Uh, I work in AKS serviceability at Microsoft. Um, yeah, I, I do this as a hobby and waiting to hear from Banke today, more on Kaito. Great, thanks for joining. Andre? Hey, hello everyone. I'm Andre, I work at Apple. I actually came from the Qflow community, I've been there for the last six years. Mostly building the training operator and the Kati project for DCP training, fine tuning, and hyperparameter optimization. Right now, I'm the Kubeflow steering committee, uh, helping this team to uh, build different white papers, scheduling white papers, and other things here, and try to um, help folks to get familiar with how native AI ML. Thank you. Thanks, Martin. Hi, I'm Martin Hickey. I'm a developer, uh, so, uh, an open source developer working over at IBM. Um, and I want to get involved here in the community and help to make contributions and uh, help make it better. Awesome, welcome. And finally, Sharon. Um, hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Sharon. Uh, I work at Apple. I'm here in the data platform team. I come from um, the project Jupiter and Apache Unicorn communities. Um, so um, yeah, interested in learning a lot more about the space and uh, um, it's great to see you on, on WebEx, um, on Zoom finally. Uh, thanks for having this meeting. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we can get started. Uh, so we have like 50 minutes. Um, uh, so we uh, have the first item on the agenda. It's a quick overview on the project dashboard. Uh, I'm not sure, really sure who added this. I think it's Ado. Did you want to? Yeah, yeah, but, but I'll ask the question because I know there's a lot of other topics. So just the intention of this, I already sent this uh, synchronously on Slack, but what I was thinking, and maybe we can do this later is, so we have a dashboard. We track the work where this at least tried to track the work that this group is doing in issues and dashboards. Um, and I was thinking um, if it's a good idea to start to go over the dashboard and see where we are, or if there are any blockers just quickly on any of the issues or any of the initiatives going on. Uh, we don't have to start this this time because uh, I'm sure we're all excited to hear about Kaido um, and other things, but um, at least if we want to do it, um, I'm happy to to, to share the screen. So I don't know what, what the group uh, thinks here. Yeah, I think we can probably set this up for some other time. Uh, I think this, yeah, it's probably gonna take uh, quite a bit of time, right? But so we're gonna discuss uh, all the different items. Um, I mean, it, not to <laughs> go against it, Ricardo, but it might be good to just like do an elevator pitch on the in-progress ones, um, just, to, you know, say if there's an there's been progress or not, just so people know what's being worked on or or not. People are looking for things to do, right? This is where they go. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Yeah. What does that sound to folks on the call? Yeah, I thought for being nuts. <laughs> no, I see no too. All right. Uh Adol, you want to take this on? You want to share your screen or yeah, sure. Let me share my screen. Um, let me know when you see my screen. Do you see it? Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, maybe so brief, uh, brief, uh, brief overview on on activities going on. So we have activities around documentation, community outreach, uh, projects and initiatives. Uh, we're going to talk more late about this, but if you're interested, you can go to the onboarding doc and look at the mission. Uh, you're going to find more explanation around the activities that we're doing, and these activities translate to issues. Uh, so these issues here, whenever you're interested or whenever you see someone wants to pair up with you, you usually go and file up an issue here, and you label it CNI. So these are our issues. When you do that, um, they will appear up here. So there will be things that we have started. There will be things that are ready to be started, but we have not put enough manpower on it yet because we're working on other things or there are other things that are taking precedence. And then there are things that are in progress. And I think this is of interest to many of you. Um, and then there are things that are done. Uh, sometimes done means uh, we have successfully completed the work. 
Other times it means that we have decided to pause um, or recontinue later. And so it's basically closed and want to do for now. Um, so for the in progress one, um, this is what we're working on at the moment, at least the ones that I'm aware of. Um, if you don't see the things that you're working on here, it means that there either there's no issue for it or the issue is not showing up for some reason. So we have the um, we have the the challenges with scheduling or scheduling for AI workloads, and that's started by BJ and uh, other folks from the working group started to contribute uh, to it. BJ or, or maybe Ron, you want to give an overview quickly on this since you wanted to. Yeah. Indicate. Um, so yeah, the, the paper is, is ongoing. Uh, we're currently um, doing a little bit of touch up and just kind of reflowing of, of the doc. There is just so everybody knows there is, there is a smaller group of people who meet and uh, the idea was, is not to exclude anybody, but, you know, just so we can start focusing to take it over that, that finish line. So uh, we're, we're still uh, working through some, some just procedural things there but it is uh, being actively worked on. So don't have any TA yet, but if, if I had to be super optimistic and since this is recorded, you know, mm -hmm. I'll just say it, I'd say uh, in under a month. <laughs> so, Plus one on the optimism. Yeah. So um, uh, that's what's up. Awesome. Okay. And so we have, we have the LLM news summarizer. Uh, Human, do you want to cover this one? Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. So, yeah. okay. So we have this uh, um, bi-weekly meeting on the ongoing projects. Like uh, the first one is to use the large language models and the LAN chain and a bunch of tool chains uh, to create this uh, um, CNCF YouTube channel summarization. So the idea is uh, we get the video, get the transcripts, and we use the large language models to get the summary, and then we put a certain uh, UIs for navigation to build up the knowledge map. So that's how we uh, make things happen. Uh, we currently have some of the progresses made there. So if you are going to the UI, you can see there's a, a bunch of conferences already popped up with a summary, and there's a ongoing knowledge map built up over there as well. So um, this is the first project that we are working on. There's some other things we are exploring, exploring at the moment, like how to manage the, how to help the CNCF uh, GitHub project to uh, streamline the issue management and PR reviews. Uh, we are planning to take this on in the future meetings if people are interested. Um, yeah, that's all we have. Welcome to join the project, by the way. A question about that. So, uh, do you uh, plan to have some sort of demo uh, once you find yeah. out? Yeah, so the dashboard is already there. Um, if you go to the repo, uh, the yeah, uh, going to the top. Yeah, go to the top of the on the right side. Oh, sorry, go to the right side of the project description. Yeah, of the link. Yeah. The about, right. go to the about. yeah, no, just go to the about on the right side, right corner. That's a uh -huh. um, the, the right side, top, top right, the top right, right about, okay. About. Uh, okay, about link, uh, about, yeah, right there, right, right, page, no, page. Two, yeah, two, yeah. Almost, almost there. Almost and there. The, what, the, what's, the, what's the name <laughs> of the this one here? No, 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 oh, no, 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 a hyperlink. Click on the hyperlink I, about. Okay. On to the right, the right of the page. The, uh, this the one, page. oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stressful. Yeah, but I, I remember, uh, you know, I mean, we wanted to change the scope of this, right? Uh, yeah. in, instead of um, showing <laughs> the stuff, but start with like the the interface and see, and just basically not show everything, but show the stuff that being that's being searched. But we can discuss mm -hmm. this later. Yeah. yeah. So just join the meeting and uh, make a, you know, contribute to your time or resource. That's really great. So the search is not implemented yet. We do not have a vector DB hosted service yet. Uh, so that's why we have not got things started. Yeah. So you meet every every uh, every other Thursday, right? Yeah, every other Thursday. The same as we have the working group. <coughs> AI work group. Yeah, I bump into your meeting yesterday, thinking it was this meeting. But it was fun seeing and learning about your project. Yeah, yeah it's a uh, team effort. 
Yeah, the good the good thing is that the, because the meeting time moved, it doesn't. So it used to clash at certain weeks uh, with the working group meeting. Now it's not clashing. So if folks want to join, I think that's it. Will be too late for India time zone though. So, but yeah. Okay. Um, so the next item is from AI Death Paris. Uh, I think you have that one as well, Ron. Yeah. So so that. Uh... While in title, it did not happen uh, as, as planned. Um, I did work with Rin over at the uh, hotel, um, had dinner with uh, Chris uh, Anchek uh, a couple nights ago. And this was after Paris. Uh, there is other, there's another AI survey being done. Um, so I've, I've got to hunt down uh, that information. So just for everybody who's new, um, you know, just as a reminder, this is early days of AI uh, in a way. And so even at the CNCF and the Linux Foundation, there's a lot of kind of independent projects happening, which is good, but that can lead to uh, duplicated work and just a little bit of parts being unclear. So that's part of what our group is is trying to do, right? We're trying to, um, you know, become the the map or the traffic cop to help people find where they, where they need to go uh, and the like. So... Uh, just to say it, there is a survey being constructed. Uh, I will get more information. Uh, Chris uh, left before I could sync up with him again. So um, I will get more information and update this. And the idea here is, is can we start getting uh, additional refresh of information to you know update the landscape, uh, produce things like radars, et cetera. So that's that's the idea here. And, and, and more practically, this was the idea was, is could we show this uh, on stage? Um, at our talks. And so this was in prep for Paris, which was uh, last week. Uh, it just didn't get done in time. So I just kind of did it informally uh, at the show. So that's that's what's going on. Ron, do you think we we, we keep this open uh, or do you want to uh, close and reopen? When, I, I, when the... I think we need to rename it. I would just say uh, CN AI user survey. And then um, I'll go in and, and add notes uh, which uh, I, I'm not sure I'm allowed to add notes yet, which I'm not sure what's going on with that. You should be able to. Uh, is that, is that yeah. a thing now? Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, it's, it's now for KubeCon North America. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Or, or AI Dev, I think there's another one uh, in uh, Hong Kong? To Hong Kong. To Tokyo. Tokyo? Okay. Yeah, it's Tokyo. Cool. All right. And then the cloud native runtime proposal. So I, uh, let's see, I can actually open it here. Um, who's, what's the name? Long die. I don't know if you're in the call. No, it doesn't look like. Okay. If not, I think this is, so there was a thread that started on, 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 on our working group Slack channel, but there's also the, th the thread moved to serving because it's the most related, at least for Kubernetes. Uh, and there's a document that I attached here, if you're interested, where all the discussions are going on. This is basically how to build a cloud native AI gateway that can do- It's, it's a very good proposal and Long Dai is in China. So he's part of our team. And uh, yeah, I can help cover for him too. I hope yeah, I think, I think there's also Dan. Uh, yeah, so the, the, as you see, like the, um, there's a lot of discussions going on here. Um, but yeah, the idea is to build something like uh, like this, building applications, you have a gateway that can do a lot of things like uh, ensuring content safety, rate limiting, observability. And that's basically what a, what a lot of the bigger companies are starting to do now. Uh, I've shared the Uber uh, blog post as well, but this is really related. And how can we relate this to the cloud native ecosystem? And if we have existing tools, and I think it's going to end up something around Istio and K-Server and so on, but have a read in the... Yeah. More than Istio, it's just a sub part of Istio. It's called Envoy, the Envoy Gateway, and that's a perfect candidate to extend. Adele, you yeah. really started and written this document beautifully. Good job. I have one question. It's more like a thought. Many times in these um, chains, these rag pipelines, there might be different LLMs, different embedders, maybe some, you know, like more than one model in there. Uh, how do you envisage this? Do you expect everything to go to this LLM gateway and 
you know, like a hairpin go there? Or do you want like separate guardrails or protections in between subcomponents in the chain? Yeah. So I'm curious I about that. By the way, it was not me who started this doc. It was Dan. Um, okay, sorry, Dan. Yeah. yeah, it was. I, I suggested, but to answer your question, at least how I think. So there is rags and everything. There's a wrapper that ensures output is there is looking or as the desired end state that you are looking to achieve. But this gateway is really trying to centralize the API calls and account for them and. Uh, orchestrate them uh, and then serve them behind the product. There is a lot of discussions of how or which parts of RAG would be delegated to the gateway versus, you know, because they, the LLM at the end of the day is just an, a piece of the puzzle mm -hmm. uh, and not, not the entire, you know, uh, uh, whole picture of, 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 uh, of RAG applications, LLM applications as it is today. Um, yeah, cool. so this is more to, to, to interact between the, the model builders and the model vendors and the application and the calls going there should be accounted for or limited. But then there's a lot of other things going on in the application space itself. How you, you know, make the query better, the prompt better, all of these things are going on on top of or before going to the gateway. And that's like, I think Opia is is where you were at Malini that yeah. that will. Yeah. So we were interested in in it from that angle to use it, yeah. and then I got these other additional questions like, really, do you want to send everything to this gateway for any of this? You know, on the ingress path is garbage coming in. On the egress path is garbage going out. Uh, and it's not just things like the rate limiter. It's things like hallucination. How well matched was the output to the input prompt request type of thing. So multiple types of usages, especially the hallucination piece, because it needs both the input and the output to compare them. And like, yeah. do we want to go to the central place? So yeah, we will yeah, think- My, my personal view is that it lives on the left side. This is just for proxying the APIs and ensuring it goes to the right place and the things around it. Anyways, I think- um, Thank you. Yeah, I, that, that covers the in progress. And I think we, we took a long time out of the meeting. So I'll stop sharing my screen. <laughs> um, and maybe we can go to the next item. Yeah. Yeah, next item is the um, Kaido or Kaido presentation. You want somebody on the call from the, from the project? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Or oh, all right. Uh... Yeah, feel free to share your screen. Oh. Uh, sorry, I need my quit. Uh, I, I need to log in again. Sorry about that. Uh, I have a question. Can I ask if, uh, in the meantime, he figures out the permissions and all? Yeah. So that LLM gateway thing that we're talking about, isn't it very similar to what uh, port key AI gateway does it? Like standardize your all APIs calls to the, all the other vendors that you have, right? Right. I'm not sure it supports content filtering and all, but there are other projects that does it. So that can be indicated if I'm correct, right? Uh, what, is, what is the project name? Uh, port key, uh, port key AI gateway. So, port has it open source as well. I'm not sure if it's a part of a CNCF landscape, but uh, it kind of does it the same thing. Uh, you have a one API which is automatically taking care of where it leads to. You don't have to deal with a lot of changes from a vendors. So, standardize the whole interaction. Uh, I have it here, maybe. Yeah, not the same one. Yeah, I'm trying to share my screen. Can any of you can see it? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, here it comes. 
Yes. Now again. Uh, you can see it now, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, hi, uh, hi team. Like uh, I'm from this. Uh, I'm from Kaido team. Uh, in in Microsoft uh, AKS uh, again, and uh, and it's Kubernetes for for AI. So like uh, we are a uh, uh, operator. Uh, you can you can search like like Google, Google GitHub uh, Kaido, and uh. Yeah, uh, it's it's for for the automates, uh, for the A AI or uh, machine learning inference, or like uh, now we add like fine tuning, uh, and to deployment in in the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, you can I think I think some of the features are are supported on uh AKS now, and the target uh a target of us like to do uh you can inference like large models like uh you inference models like uh, or as I mentioned like uh we do the fine tuning and such as like a uh, Falcon, uh, Lama two and five two five three or something. Uh, I think all of them are supported now, and uh, it has it has like uh the structure is like here. Like we will uh go into the uh API server and do the and firstly uh we will provision a workspace. Uh, it will uh it will provision all of the uh resource, uh, I think mostly hardware resource like uh, GPU nodes and something else uh, uh, as, a, a, as a, like, a, we will uh, we will get the structure here and like call another CRE for the node provisioner uh, to do here. And then we, uh, at the same time, we will do the AI work, uh, AI workload to do this here. So as I mentioned in the, in the, in, in the, in the uh, chat, like uh, I think, Maybe we can add some more things about this uh, in the uh, in the documents later, and then like uh, then in the GPU node we can uh, we 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 have uh, different uh, types of uh, schools SKUs, and uh, and most of them uh, what we are doing now uh, we we support like uh, the preset models and we store it in the public registry, and then if we want to do some. Uh, I want to do some uh, adapters for uh, inference or fine tuning. We also support it to do a uh, private uh, redundancy or something if you want, if you want to do the preset one. Uh, I think that's the high level architecture here. So uh, any, any questions for now? Okay, so uh, that's structure here. So, uh, let me go into deeper with that. So uh, I think if we skip all of the uh, installation or something like, uh, I think that will be very long. And uh, my own, all of my, uh, all of my like uh, coordinated structure are from uh, Azure because like we are uh, Azure and AKS project. So uh, let me see if I get, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, here it is. Like uh, this is uh, this is a uh, one uh, one like example of uh how we do the fine tuning thing. So uh, I choose like uh, uh, uh five sorry as a preset, and uh, the method is called uh Colora, and uh as as you, you can see, like uh, the input of the uh, input of the whole like uh, data from a uh, hugging face, and we will input this one, and uh, the output we can output the result as uh, this is a private uh, this is a private like registry uh, of, of 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 the team, so we can do it here. Uh, I think if we want to do it, we can just like Kubernetes uh, apply. Uh, we can just apply this uh, apply this uh, job to do this, and then we can uh, let me see if it is cool. Uh, sorry, it will take it will take some time to do that. Maybe we can do it. See now, a workplace has already been created, so uh, and the instance is like then. And uh, after the after the resource has been 
really, I think it will take about 10 minutes if we cannot do that. And it will take another uh, several hours to do all the training things and it will output the, it will output the, 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 the result of the, the image of the results will, will be put here. So that's for, for later. So uh, that's the process of the fine tuning. So uh, until now, any, any of, any of the questions here? Uh, I have one question. Okay. You're saying it will take several hours, so can't we scale the instance, basically do fine tuning on multiple uh, instances? Is it possible? Uh, multiple training, right? You mean? Yeah, so you're training that model, right? Based on the data set, right? Yeah. So I'm saying if you can basically do parallel trading, like model sharding kind of a way, where you train on a yeah, yeah, of yeah. is it possible with yeah, if you want to do like uh maybe maybe some of uh yes so uh just like uh, I didn't do that because uh I didn't like like uh do another like uh image so like uh so so I didn't do that so about the secret so but if if we want like to change one of the name maybe another what, what was that so uh two and if we want to do that and we apply it again and then it can be also be trained again so it just uh, create another uh, workspace for you uh, as you see like uh, the first uh, CRD we, we provide now is a workspace so if you try another one it can be to uh, do another training in parallel okay so my question was around more of a scaling side right um, if I'm correct you are not defining how many machines you're using right for to do training uh, machines, uh, you mean uh, instances, yeah, GPUs and instances, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, instance type is here, right? And this is a uh, school, so uh, I forget uh, how much of the nodes or something it has been leveraged, but uh, every every different uh, let me see, uh, every different uh. This is inference, but it's the, 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 it should be same. You see, like uh, there will be some other instance type. So like uh, the, the, the core, until now, we just like, uh, uh, we just like every, every like, like, like uh, every model or every kinds of like model, we will do the, uh, we, we, will, we will suggest you to do the same like uh, instance type, but uh, like, like uh, and we store it uh, in our code. So maybe in the future, like we can do some, uh, do do a more like automatic way. So like, uh, but for now, uh, you can leverage whatever you want. Like uh, I think it's just like uh, the, 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 the I think the enums of schools in in the whole Azure and AKS. Cool, cool. We'll ask any other further question later on. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I see. Uh, so I have a question. Uh, do you, so these are for uh, Servant, right? So you're talking about Lama 2 and Falcon, but for inference, right? Uh, the, the previous one? Oh, that was... oh, somebody is through some noise. But anyway, so, so, so uh, yeah, OK, I see. I, oh, I see the example. So you, you're sharing like inference and, and fine tuning. OK, got it. It is fine tuning. Uh, the fine tuning one it will take some uh take some hours to, to 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 do the training right and have the output. So so what I was uh, applied just now, I think, yeah. like what, two minutes ago. So that was like uh, uh that was like 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 uh, uh fine tuning, and I will do the inference uh in the, like later. So uh, Andre, so you raise, right? Yeah, I have a question. Just maybe follow up what uh, Sudhanshu was asking. I think the question was about distributed training and how you can handle large models. So I guess like uh, the main motivation is here kind of like attaching your model to the instance type. If instance type have a sufficient number of GPUs, you can fine tune this model. But the problem is like um, for the large models, usually the one instance type won't be sufficient. So you have to use some advanced distributed techniques like, you know, MPI or Torch run or, you know, the ability to communicate uh, during the uh, training uh, devices, right? Uh, so, um, sorry, well, I think I can understand your question like this. Like, uh, 
for now, we only uh, support uh, inference and uh, and fine tuning. Uh, and uh, maybe next next step, we will support like uh, RIG. So, so like uh, maybe you you mentioned is you doing a large model training, right? So is that what I'm understanding now? Yeah. So I think like the point is like the question is like does Kaito support any sort of the communication between multiple devices during the training or fine tuning, right? Like when you have more than one machine, right? And you want to like, you know, distribute the training, you have to like use, you know, advanced distributed capabilities, right? You know, MPI, for example, like MPI allows you to uh, run your model training on multiple machines, right? Because I keep, yeah, does make sense? Uh, I think for the larger one, maybe you mean like thousands of like uh, GPUs, right? Yeah, but uh, I mean, I mean, you, you, you still uh, have a, yeah, go ahead. So like we only uh that is not for now at least like uh from 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 what I planned uh we planned so like uh that is not for now like for large model training like to leverage like hundreds or something like that that is not supported now. Yeah, and what about like yeah I just sorry I just have a follow up question I just will will pass to uh uh so I have a question about like how you handle the uh, node disruption and port failures. Because for training, you know, when you train you when you train your model for you know like more than a week, you have to like make sure you have the enough elasticity, and uh, you know like um, enough uh, fault fault tolerance yeah. to make sure you know like your model can can be trained. Because the problem is like uh, when something happening with your nodes, you basically lose all of your money that you spent for GPUs, right? So yeah. how do you handle this within Kaito? Uh, here's the uh, let let me do this like uh. Uh, I think for Kaito is uh title is you see like uh or in our introduction like Kaito was uh, to do the inference like we didn't like consider uh like 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 for training for weeks or like days so that is not for now at least so we started from a very uh, small and we only have like half a year I think from last November so like uh but uh if we want to talk about a GPU provisioner. Uh, we have uh that's that's our like neighbor team uh GPU provisioner so like I think they will provide you like more things and uh let me uh because it's not in our plan so we we can if we if we want to talk about it we can we can we can schedule another demo like later so about the GPU provisioner so that's I think they also open source uh, a lot of codes of the team so we can if we want i think they will provide more like uh gpus so so if we want we want to leverage more yeah i think like so i, I think i think that's fine but i think my, my question more about how do you like do you think about like you know that like how do you leveraging the full pattern like you know like the different failure policies right so for example like you know uh, jobs in Kubernetes supports, you know, multiple federal policies, like both federal policies, success policies, gangs, like, you know, different, like, scheduling. Like, for example, when you do training more than one single pod, you have to, like, you know, perform some gang scheduling mechanism, right? Like Volcano or schedule plugins. So do you, like, you know, consider some of this? So you're right now just, you know, using one instance, like one Azure, you know, like VM to just fine-tune your model and rely yeah. on, on the VM code. Yeah. No, until now we have we have noticed, but uh, here's the thing: like uh, uh, our PM uh, led me to join this to collect your like uh, uh suggestions. So because uh, our direction is not that clear, so I I will add this one and uh, add this one, and maybe we can uh, we will release I think next week or this week. So uh, we I can I can propose this and try to speak uh, if we can do this like in the near future. Is that cool? Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so it sounds like uh, for training type of workloads, uh, the project is in the early stages. Right? So there's a lot to be done. Cool. But there, I mean, like Andreas mentioned, there's quite a few other alternatives now. So for doing gang scheduling and um, in for, for training type of jobs like like Bray or or I think they're by torch also you can do it with torch training in ISO. Um, so it'll be interesting to, to find out how how this integrates with all those tools. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, 
any other questions? So I forgot if someone raised again. Okay, so oh. that's it. Oh. Yeah, I raised the hand. I think my question is pretty much clear now. I think you answered it. It's now in the current development process. So we will see more of those features upcoming in the stages. I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh this I think inference will be quite uh easy now. So uh it's just this one. So you can you can see all of them. So and um, I just store it. And I uh, and after I I, I did the, all the uh, apply, so uh, I have done that uh, just before this meeting. So uh, hopefully you can see it clearly. Uh, this is how I I think this is the uh, this is the question the prompt I I, I pro provide to the model and uh, and this uh, all the other parameters, I just set all the things to the default one. And this is the port uh, I'm trying to ask in it and uh, and just cure. And this user and this is just like the, the, the standard format of the uh, file three and it will give us a, a answer of our questions. So uh, it's just quite a normal one. It will give us a, so it gave us some of the questions. So that's that's a normal inference. So if we want to do some uh, add some other adapters, that's also cool. Uh, if I think we have we have already uploaded uh, uh, an adapter of the of the, the the coding one. So but now it's in my in my terminal. It's not easy to 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 demo it. So but uh, the co the coding one is uh, uploaded again. So I think it's. That is most of our demo. So if you want to do something, uh, some suggestion, feedback, and uh, questions, also all of them cool for me now. And uh, about the GPU one, uh, GPU provisioners, I think that's uh, that's kind of our uh, upstream team. So uh, I have I, I know their codes, but uh, maybe some of the details I have no idea of that. Uh, if we want like uh, I think they support like uh, multiple uh, GPU and large scales of GPU uh, in their code. So if we want to talk, that uh, we can schedule it later. Then. Thank you, uh, Bangi. That was that was great. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, one last question from Sohanshu. Yeah, sorry to ask too many questions, but uh, that's yeah, it feels like I'm extending the call too much. So, uh, so look, my question is around. I don't see any definition of or basically description anything in the YAML, which defines what kind of inference engine we are using, right? So, uh, I think yeah. what you mean by that. So, I think inference is like a five three mini uh, instruct. So. The, the preset. Sorry, I didn't get you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this is inference, right? Yes, that is inference. You're defining the inference, but what inference engine we are using, right? Is it a um, uh, TGI from Hugging Face or um oh. or VLLM or anything other different engine that we're using, or yeah. you have your own have your own defined. Uh, I think like uh, that's, uh, I think that's one, uh, I think the preset one, uh, let me do this. I think it's in our codes, like, like as I mentioned, like I think most of them are like, uh, are like from Hugging Face and we make it an image, like uh, we make it image like, like uh, and add some like, uh, so some Python calls to start it, and uh, let me see. Uh, I think I get where is it from. I think first time I, I saw uh, Kato, they were using VLLM. So. Yeah, so I think, uh, let me see if I can search that, but uh, I think uh, the, this, uh, these two are the five to eight minutes. So uh, I think at the, the preset models, uh, LM or something, and all of them, where are they from? And uh, we all paste uh, or the, the public registry for them. If you want to see that, you can see you can see that. I think it's also in the GitHub. So, uh, so we just like uh, which is this kind of like standard in our uh, code. So, 
all of the preset uh, models. Uh, you, can, you can see the link of the public registry. It's mostly, yeah, I think it's mostly from Hugging Face. And if um, I think maybe sometimes we will retrain it a little, but uh, mostly from Hugging Face. So I think that was more of a, around uh, where do you get the model from and you have multiple sources, you could have it on your local, right? Hugging Face is one repository. But I was talking mainly on the front of what engine we are using because we are serving a model. So it need to be on some engine that you're using, right? Um, or you have it implemented your own, basically. Is it open source? Is it a something that you're dealing in your own code? So oh, uh, you mean like you want to do your own, right? Uh, I understand, right? No, no. My question is like, um, there are different LL, uh, engines available in the market. For example, there are Triton, right? Yes. Which uh, NVIDIA provides the Triton inference. So in case I want to use different engine server than what you are already have it in your code, can I do that and go and basically update the YAML? Uh, I think it just manages the the parts and inside the container you can have whatever you can have the LLM, you can have Trident, you can have a Llama CVP or whatever uh, serving engine. Uh, uh, no, that's that's in them. I think more that the models uh, we supported now only limited. I think uh, uh, six to seven. So anything about others was not cool. So uh, so that that's what we are that that's what we are doing now. So anything from so this this name we have a validation of it. So like if other than this, then that's not cool enough. So uh, that that's what that's uh, kind of like it's not totally, but it's kind of hard coded. So it's not cool. But uh, here's the thing: if you want to uh, do the tuning of the we, we are doing now so if it, it is also from uh like it maybe is you do a small change to the five three mini uh 4k or something if you want to do a small change then that's supported but if you do other models that's not supported so that's we need to scale up for our models but others are not supported now uh, but if you want to do something like uh so other models we can we can add it because we the models are added like uh, I think every month, so add it quickly. So if you want to do some uh, leverage some other models, so we can add it now. Yeah, I think with, with his question was what the underlying engine is for serving the model. That, that was his question. So I think it, it, it it's either VLLM or uh, Triton or uh, Llama CPP or something like that. But um, I think maybe you can follow up afterwards. You know, yeah. To, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear clearly. Sorry for that. Thank you. Any, any other questions? All right, Donald, uh, Ronald and Adel, you want to provide your report on the conferences or conference activity? I wasn't able to make it, so Ron uh, can go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just muted. Yeah, I'm trying to um, share the doc here. Um, all right. Hopefully, I'm just showing the, the meeting notes here. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, two things. So um, last week was uh, AI Dev in, in Paris and um, had the opportunity to, uh, you know, present on cloud native AI, which I think is near and dear to, to our hearts. Um, so I think uh, as a just a general thing, it, it went, went well. I uh, had lots of conversations um, before and after the actual meeting. Uh, uh, Malini and, and team were kind enough to provide a demo of o Opia, which I we put in uh, for three quarters of the way through through the presentation uh, to demonstrate um, a different tool. So we have been in prior uh, meetings demonstrating HGPT because it's quite frankly very simple uh, to kind of you know hit the main ways that it works and get people excited. 
uh, something like uh, Opia takes a little little longer. So, um, you know, her team did a did a great job. So thank you very much for uh, creating that that demo. Hopefully, I I did it justice. <laughs> tried to to show the video and tried to to uh, talk over it. Um, in, as just a general statement, the conference went, uh, I think, went well. Um, there was probably of most interest to this group is our white paper showed up a few times, uh, not just like on stage, but also uh, in the audience. I could actually see people reading our, the, the the CNAI white paper uh, in the in the crowd. So uh, just for anyone who's participating here, uh, feel feel proud about that and you know the the stuff going on here is getting out out there and that's that's uh i think uh, an important message to remember um the next conference which uh actually was this week uh boris uh who is on the call Bo boris uh do you want to uh describe what what was going on so share the, the mic here are you still with us We still have Boris. Boris, are you muted? I think you might have dropped off. I don't see. I don't see. Uh, okay. All right. I'll I'll yeah. I'll talk. I'll talk to it. So so Boris, a uh, longtime member here, um, we uh, he had proposed a while ago that we do a, a co uh, talk together. So this was um, part. This was an add on day to another conference called SecureCon uh, here in Seattle. And uh, they added a uh, AI security day, and uh, there was also an open telemetry uh, day day as well uh, in it in advance. And so our presentation was on CageGPT, but uh, we kind of took it the next step and integrated Kiverno uh, into it. And the idea was is uh, what we wanted to show was a couple of things. the The point of our talk was uh, zero how to get to zero trust with AI. And so can you, for example, have a tool like Kiverno uh, evaluate the, the pillars, right? There's four pillars of zero trust, right? There's debate on what to do for each pillar, but, you know, do MTLS, right? Do segmentation, do, you know, like do, do these things, right? So can we have policies that evaluate your cluster uh, and then take the LLM, uh, the, the AI part of this, and actually come up with actionable advice and then ultimately uh, do agentic type things, you know, generate a kubectl command to actually go off and and then maybe even automate that, right? And go go do it. So um, we were able to get Kiverno integrated. I wouldn't say it's uh, you know production worthy, uh, but we were. And so for 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 me, I wanted to uh, show the the crowd that you can take these tools, you can actually modify them, right? Reminding people that this is open source stuff. I, I am not part of the KGPT project by any stretch um, or or Kiverno, right? These are two things that I don't use a whole lot, but uh, was able to, to put them together and show something that I actually think is relatively useful. And so the good news is, is a lot of other people thought it was uh, useful as well. After the talk, we probably had more Q&A about it than probably all the other talks that happened at the conference. So I think what that tells me is that while there's all these complicated things we can need to do with AI, like um, uh, you know, build a, a full system, which you know now we have things like Opia to to help that, and in Kato, right, to assist, and of course all the Kubeflow type tooling. Um, but there's smaller wins that we can do with AI, and I think that's the real message, right? KGPT, I still think is kind of like a premier example of how we can use a pretty straightforward tool using AI to get something done. And I think that's what was exciting to people. Uh, outside the demo, our group, um, part of why we do these, at least for me, do these talks is to get get our name out there. I think we were pretty successful uh, in that regard as well. Uh, again, I saw our papers showing up on people's laptops uh, at the different talks. Uh, people mentioned our group's name on stage uh, a few times. So uh, all that uh, was good. Uh, the only maybe misgivings of both of these, and this is kind of why we're doing this, is uh, we're trying to help people guide them along, right? Like, how do you do AI in the in cloud native? Um, 
But when you get to the Linux Foundation and you get to the CNCF, there is a lot of other things going on, right? And they're doing AI as well. So there is a, I wouldn't say it's outright confusion, but people don't, you know, know where to go for different uh, help, right? And so uh, that's something we're trying to improve here as well. Uh, and, you know, if anyone here has has thoughts on that, love to, to, to chat about it. We've got some ideas on how we can further improve making it easy for people to do AI. And part of that is just finding the, the right person to talk to in the right project and the right resources. So work continues on that. I'd say they were all success. It was great working with Boris. That was our first time working together uh, on, you know, something of, of that nature. Uh, had a had a great time doing it. So uh, hopefully we'll we'll do more. And uh, I'll share the slides and everything uh, today when I get back to San Francisco. And uh, if anybody wants to work on something um, later, uh, please bring it up. Uh, Ricardo, was your talk at Paris published? Any links? Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, Ron, Ronald, sorry, not Ricardo. Yeah, yes, that's what I was just saying. I'll, I'll share it when I get when I get home. Okay, yeah. thank you. I yeah, the, vi the videos are up and all that. Yep, that's right. I think they are recorded. So, yep. yeah. Um, well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ronald. We're at time. Uh, so so uh, one, maybe before we close, because I, I added this to the doc, um, look at the upcoming events. Uh, there was a suggestion about, uh, so someone added the suggestion, which is a good reminder about uh, Kubernetes AI Day. Uh, Ricardo, you're you're probably also organizing that one, um, and then data on Kubernetes Day as uh, co-located events for for um, for KubeCon and the CFPs are still open for both uh, for mid July. So I just wanted to to highlight this fact in case you're interested to submit a talk. We'll go into it first. So also KubeCon. Oh, I think KubeCon is already passed, right? But... But uh, we still have uh, the co-located events. Yeah, the co-located events. Are... Yeah, and there's also a PyTorch conference in September. Uh, the CFP is already passed, uh, but also I think it will be a good one to keep an eye on uh, and some of the things that are happening in that ecosystem. Hi, everyone. I would like to quickly introduce myself. Uh... Sorry for joining late. I'm Sunil Ravi Party, and I was supposed to be at SecurityCon in Seattle. Uh, Ronald, I would have met you. I had some customer call meetings I couldn't join. So I'm part of the Tag Security Working Group as well as uh, Tag Zero Trust. Um, so I work with uh, um, Frederick uh, Cards and uh, a few folks uh, from the Tag Security. So I'm glad to see that uh, you guys were able to be there at. Uh, Security Con and meet uh, the tax security folks as well. So I'm excited to be part of the this working group and look forward to further interactions. I'm based in San Francisco Bay Area. Great. Yeah, oh, welcome. Sorry, sorry uh, I mentioned one more. We have a, a, a friend, a new friend here as well. Uh, Sunil, great to hear from you. Uh, Dan. Can, can, I, uh, you, can you try? I, I, I want, didn't want to just jump in, but um, I'm I followed Ronald home uh, here uh, <laughs> after the conference here in Seattle, so I'm uh I'm, I'm still in lurk mode, but I'm I'm soaking things in, and um, my my hope is to be able to contribute. So excited! Yeah, welcome. All right. Well, hope you everyone have a great weekend. We have a next meeting in two weeks. But uh, Ricardo, before we drop, sorry, I know we were time. Can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, sorry. I know Adele, you actually added like the last sentence about like scheduling work, uh, scheduling KI white paper, right? So, do we want to discuss next week? Yeah, I yeah. I think I think we're yeah. So, if if anyone else is interested, uh, you just just let us know. I think. Uh, we will discuss the scope and because we, we we have a good shape for the paper, we have reiterated multiple times on what needs to be in the paper. And I think we will meet next week to finalize the look of the paper and whether we will divide uh, what's left out into a separate paper or not. So if anyone is interested also. Yeah, um, yeah let's work it synchronously on the Slack channel. And if we need to meet, have a off meetings with a few people interested, then we can actually say that but as a kind of one-off meeting or 
or it has it has to be like a regular uh, a regularly scheduled meeting that we, we can actually facilitate that thank you thank you all right thank you have a great have a great day good to see everyone bye Bye. Thank you.